Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So I'm doing two requests here I got. Um, first one is for, one second, you know, I gotta be organized. Um, where's my little friend at? What's the, Julia Bear. Julia was worried, she wanted me to do, to know how it worked on cardboard, the uh, chalky finish Americana decor. So we're gonna test it out on camera and see. Um, I'm going to use this cardboard, which is from a box. I use cardboard to paint sometimes and do, um, I, I like to do recycled. I like to do a lot of art on cardboard and sell it because number one, it's, it's being recycled and it doesn't go into, you know, uh, the garbage and all. And I love recycling. Plus it's very thin and easy to ship and I can keep prices lower because I don't charge a lot for my paintings, but, um, you know, by the time you get canvases and the paints and everything like that, it could be a little bit, uh, a little bit expensive. So I'm going to combine this for Barbie, uh, Verdick, um, who wanted to see, uh, the green and blue chalk paint, which I didn't do. I guess I did some of them and didn't do them. And she wants to see what those look like. So we're going to combine right here from my peeps. Okay. First I'm going to do the, uh, this is called refreshing. This is, um, hard for you to see the color, but it's, you can see right there. It's, it's like a mint green. So you know, I'm going to shake this up and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay them out here. So then, um, shake this up. This is called fortune. You see that green? So I'm going to shake that up. I'm not a good shaker. I always forget, but you can hear it. There's something in there I gotta shake. Some uh, chemical in there that gotta make it chalky or not chalky. And these dry completely matte. These are my new favorite obsessions. Um, I can never get enough of these because you can use them on so many things. So I'm gonna do some green there. And then I have a darker green. It is called Enchanted. And you can see that's what it looks like. So I'm gonna shake that up. And Put that down and then the blues and then we will be going to town. So I'll put the green, that's the darker green. And then this blue is called treasure. And then this blue is called legacy. Okay. Now I love these things. I've used them, <clears throat> these chalk paints, I've used them on every surface available. I've used them on paper. I've used them on uh, cardboard. I've used them on glass. The glass, um, you have to put a couple coats, but because this dries so delicious, it's, it's really not, I, I like it, but you know, to each their own. Um, but yeah, I, I just love them. I've used them on paper. I've used them on a lot of things. All right. That brush is not going to work for me. Okay. So I'll take, we're going to go light to dark. So I'm going to take the green here. My brushes are, I don't think I'm cleaning them enough. And this is on cardboard, and this is the worst possible brush I could have picked up, Kelly. All right, this one will be better. Okay. All right, and look how nice that covers. So that's the green. It's kind of, it's a very light mint green. It almost looks white here, but it's not. It's It's got a nice, nice green to it. And I have very dirty, painty hands. All right, so... Let's go into this green. Look at this, how it goes on. I mean, uh, we just love this, this paint. And then the dark one. And I'm putting, I put the dark one on pretty thick because I want to see if it makes it uh, work. All right, I just washed off my brush so I don't have to mix it up with the blues. So I'm going to pick the lighter blue. And of course you can do two coats. Maybe I'll throw another coat on just to see, but you can see how nice this covers. And then this is the dark one. And because what I like about these, they dry very matte and that the fact that they don't have anything really in them, like a, uh, any type of gloss or anything like that really helps, you know, them not bow, uh, the cardboard and all. So you can see that works out pretty good. So that's one coat and I'm going to dry it real quick. And then I'm going to throw another coat of 
the ones I have left here just to see. These are very thick and they are just very, very nice. And you can see they just dry so matte. I'm gonna look how fast they dry, that's it. That, I mean, that's how quick. So let's go into this green and we'll do another coat just so you can see. Get the rest of that up. I'm gonna put it on fairly thick so you can see if it bows. And then the dark green. And you can see I'm putting it on very thick. Just make sure you dry your brush when you rinse it, when you're, especially if you don't want your paper to warp and all. And then the blue. And then I'm gonna go into the dark blue. And you can see it's very wet because it has to dry, but it's not, it's not done anything to the cardboard. It's not warped it or anything else. I would advise to um, make sure you dry in between layers, which it doesn't, you don't even need a heat gun because it doesn't take long at all. With the heat gun makes, you can use your hair dryer too, but it makes really quick work of it. But for better coverage, you want to make sure the first layer is dry. Now you can see that it's completely dry. It's not shiny anymore. And look at that. And that's it. So it definitely works well on cardboard. It did not bow it at all. You can see I'm turning it like that. Nothing bowed, nothing lifted. So that is absolutely deliciousness. And here are the greens and some blues um, for you to see. They look gorgeous. They dry very matte. So you can use these. And then if you want to put a top coat on them, a top clear coat or whatever, you definitely can. Um, but this is just a quickie to show you guys that uh, you can use it on cardboard. And um, those are those colors that I didn't show. If there are other colors I didn't show in my main video, which I will link down below, let me know. And uh, I will, you know, throw them in on a uh, tutorial or something that I do. So you guys can, you know, see them and check them out. Um, I'm going to put a link down below to the uh, Blitzy link that I, the Blitzy that I love. Um, you can go check them out. They have a lot of deco art uh, products on sale right now. Go check them out. I love Blitzy. Um, you can also find these now at Joann's, which you can use a coupon, which you can use a coupon at Blitzy as well. But if you want to go and uh, look for certain colors yourself, Joann's has them now, and it is fantastic. So I love you guys. As always, be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.